Welcome back to Wine Tasting. So spring has sprung. Last month we did a wine giant and this month we're going to be tasting a wine from a very boutique little winery but fantastic called Mountfield and they are based quite near Battle so on the Hastings route. Um, the, the Mountfield estate has been in their family for years and years and they started growing grapes towards the 10 year ago mark and make a delicious rosé and a classic cuvee and some Blanc de Blanc. So I've gone for rosé as the sun is out and this is a blend of Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier, so two of the noble champagne grape varieties. So what's missing from this is Chardonnay. I like a champagne or a sparkling wine that's heavy on the Pinot Noir side. Um, so an example of that, if you like Bollinger, that's got a bigger ratio of Pinot Noir to Chardonnay. If you're a Laurent Perrier fan, that's heavier on the Chardonnay grape. So we've got the Rosé Brut from 2018 vintage. Um, what is also different about this month, that this is made in exactly the same way as Champagne. Um, it has the double fermentation. So the second fermentation happens in the bottle and it rests on its lees, on its dead yeast. And that's what gives you the bready, biscuity, brioche notes. But what I'm expecting from this because of the Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier is the lovely red, round, soft fruits of strawberry, raspberry. Nice spring and summery, but with some depth and some body. So, I, I honestly think if, if you, you didn't know this was English sparkling, you would think this was champagne, just, for, just from the aromas. You've immediately got the soft red fruits, but it's not overpowering in terms of being too fruity, which some people compute in their minds as being sweet. It's a soft flavour, but it's really lovely full-bodied complexity, which is that ageing on its lees. And it's got it's just the perfect balance of both. It's 12%, so it's not actually particularly heavy on the alcohol but it doesn't taste lean, which sometimes English wines are criticised for being too lean, which means they're not particularly generous in how they taste, which can be because of the weather. But 2018 was a fantastic year for English wine. The climate, everything was, was right. And this is a, a, a fantastic example of a very well-made wine that I really would think you'd not realise that you was not drinking champagne here. And I think that's the point of English wine. It's supposed to rival, and in some cases, better champagne, which hence the price tag and why it's worth paying. So in terms of the land, growing the grapes, the viticulture and making the wine, this all happens within the Mountfield estate. And um, there's lots of different options available. So people are growing their grapes, but contracting winemakers to make the wine for them. And next month I'll be tasting a wine exactly with that relationship between grower and winemaker. So at Thompson, Snell and Passmore, we are a full service law firm who can advise families on their estates, maybe diversification if you're not, not already growing grapes but you think you have suitable land. We can advise on the contracts if you want to sell your grapes on or have someone else make your wine for you. Um, and just generally on land advice. And if you're considering buying land to start your own vineyard winemaking business or to buy an existing vineyard, we can also help you with that. And on that subject, please keep your eye out for an article that is being released shortly.